आगे स्टार्ट करो ये नोटिफिकेशन जस्ट वन सेकेंड ना आई बी बैक वन सेकेंड सर गुड मॉर्निंग कैन यू हेयर मी आई अर्पित नाइस थैंक यू दिनेश हाय स्नेग्धा एनाव्या हाय प्रतीक हेलो नीता हाय शुभलक्ष्मी We'll begin in about three minutes. Thank you, Pradeep, for the feedback, and thank you for all the technical support. People, you actually will see someone called Pradeep M. He is uh, the technical head. He's heading the technical team. Who is supporting all this? In case you have any issues in terms of sound or. Uh, visuals please reach out to him hi tarkesh hello vivek good morning hi raman hello sajid bhai pradeep's uh, mobile number he has put 8 8 is put it on the um, chat box Hello, Rebecca. Nice to see you here. Hi, Smriti. So, uh, what you see right now is uh, this is the reception area of uh, the Vijay Bhumi University campus. In front of me is the reception. Uh, this is that admin block. Uh, there are beautiful offices inside. There are offices on the other side also. uh that's the kind of an entry to the i'll just quickly share with you if you can see that's the university building uh there's a front facade you can't see much from here i will take you to different parts of the campus in the days to come yeah and uh Hello, Rashmi. Good morning. Hi, Dinesh. Uh, next to these trees, actually, uh, I have beautiful mountains, which you can't see because the screen is bleached. Uh, when we'll have session on some other time, like I either in the morning or in the evening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, take you around the campus. in the times okay we are almost ready we are 40 participants and uh, uh raman there is a mini screen uh, that's open because uh i i am on the screen sharing mode everybody can see whatever is happening on my screen right so that uh, that's the region and there's another parallel meeting faculty council meeting that's going on so there will be some pop ups uh which i will have to take but anyways a very warm a uh, very very good morning to all of you hope you are safe and fine and doing well uh uh so uh how many of you could draw some objects and people at home since yesterday now you, i 
so okay you are on a mute mode so you, if you talk nobody is going to listen the reason okay rashmi thank you uh shubhalakshmi says could not finish no matter there's no finishing it's about attempting right Raman dead, Arpit dead, Bindu dead, Pratik dead, Snigdha dead, Bhuvneshwari dead, Chandan dead, uh, Malavika dead, Harsh could not complete. Complete, I did not specify a particular number. So, you know, how many could you do? Okay, can I have some idea about how many drawings did you make in an average? Like three, four, three, two, three, four, ten. Snigda 10, wow, <laughs> great. So I have an idea, six, three, two, great. So you probably have to do a little more, probably six, seven is a good number. 10 is a very good number. If you can do 15, even if it, you do it small, it's okay. Uh, these are quick gesture drawings, not more than three minutes per object. So even if you supposing do 10, it's not going to take more than half an hour of your time, right? At, at least that much time we'll have to figure out other than these sessions, yeah? Uh, we have objects in front of us and uh, we see objects because the light is falling on it, right? And uh, there's a particular texture. One second, let me just quickly cancel all these pop-ups. Okay, that will keep on. Is there any way I can disable this because Okay, yeah, that's gone. Okay, that will keep coming. There's a parallel meeting going on and I'm not uh, there now. I'll join immediately after the class. Okay. Hmm. Uh, hello, Chandan. Ashia, hi. Oh, 17. Ashia says 17 drawings. That's wow. <laughs> nice. That's the spirit. I really love this. Okay, we have 56 participants now and we are 10.33 a.m. right now, Indian Standard Time. Great. So I'm going to share, uh, like, if what happens when a light falls on an object? Uh, light falls and what, what are the usual mistakes that people do? Uh, yesterday, I, we talked about how to draw things when we do not kind of draw in when, when we do not put it in terms of outlines. So there's much more than the outlines in the things that we draw, right? And we have to train our eyes to be able to see that, right? I will share, I believe you are able to see my screen. My easy. Great. Anshu has a question. The evening session is exactly the same, the morning session. See, I try to keep the same as same as, as similar as possible but uh, these, are, these are not kind of staged sessions so what happens is you attend only one session and that will do right whatever time suits you because in terms of progression yes that's uh, that's the way if you want to attend both the sessions there's no problem at all yeah you can okay so uh, supposing uh, we draw an object, what we tend to do is, supposing we draw a tree, our usual tendency is to darken one side completely and the other side remains light, right? That's the usual tendency. This is how usually we draw. Like this is the other side of the thing. Right, so, but then things do not exist in terms of like complete darkness and complete lightness on one side because there's a there's a there's a dimension in this right now what happens is you actually see there is some kind of see the light is falling from here no the darkness will be before the end of the stem right that's yeah okay that's usually that's that's the usual form so this is how you actually get the roundness of things, right? You actually see the darkness would be somewhere here. And then there will be lightness again. Why? Why that lightness is because there are objects in the, on this side of this object. There's a light also falling on them and reflecting back. So whenever it's going that side, it will get lighter, right? Correct. So for example, you have a,
okay a ball now obviously the lower part will be darker so there is some portion where the light will fall maximum and then there will be a very dark portion really dark portion and there could be a shadow also at the end of it so this is the kind of uh, like the light falls on something there will be lightness and then there will be darkness this need not be as light as this but you not as dark also right this is not and how do we see suppose there is no outline as i am saying do not have to draw outline this is this is this something behind that also right if you draw that it will come out simple yeah that's how your objects are you have a rounded object okay now uh in my drawing classes you you are going to use eraser now eraser is not to kind of uh, rub your mistakes out but as a technique you are going to use it right? and uh, my voice is breaking uh, uh is voice breaking to other people also can i have a quick feedback from her no okay so maybe you, you have to uh, just check your internet connection because everybody says okay somebody says yes little okay hi what is my internet i have got full internet here anyway so you use eraser as just look even if you uh, miss out some things that i'm saying you still can see that right so now use the eraser to cleaning your eraser because so there's a light is falling here right so i'm using this eraser to make it lighter some kind of light falling there something like this okay so you basically use eraser to the way you use a pencil or a charcoal to darken things the same way you use uh eraser to lighten up things because you're drawing on a lighter uh, paper it's not dark and you're using dark to darken the places where the light is not falling right okay when you speak looking at the drawing sheets away from the laptop it is difficult to okay so i'll be louder <laughs> i will louder when i'm drawing on the screen can i collapse the window on my screen krisha says uh, can i collapse the window on my screen that left hand side bottom well, that is needed because i'm share on the screen sharing mode i'm sharing screen with everybody that's the reason that left thing is uh, it, it will be there there's a technical thing that we have those three small screens there's no small screens here and shu i'm i'm uh, can you can define which that one one second no hmm come sharing a screen okay where are the two small screens there's no two small screens that these are okay i am on a screen sharing mode therefore it's coming there's okay can i switch this off no i can't i can't there's no that option is not there picture in picture will be there but that's not I'll, i'll i'll ensure that nothing important goes on that part of the screen yep uh krisha has sent an image uh, govin can you look at my whatsapp yeah 
and see where the problem is. Sure, Krisa, thanks for the feedback. Hmm. Okay, uh, wait, Arti says you, you can actually close it at your end. Just go on top of it and there will be an arrow which is downwards. Click that, it will just go down. Yeah. And my says there are four province. You can't deal with one. Now you have four. <laughs> anyway, so these are the small issues, technical issues that is. That's correct. On the left hand side, the, the, you're talking about the screen that you have here, right? So that's uh, that's uh, that is going to be there. I'm sorry. Okay, so. Good. We have 63 participants. Hello, all those who have joined in the last uh, few minutes. Uh, Chandan, if you have three extra screens, you can minimize it. You, there will be an option for you to minimize it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Anyway, so this is like uh, when the light falls on objects, this is how things happen. Okay. I will right now, whatever you're doing, I'm, I, I'm not actually looking at it. There's a reason for that. First of all, you know, the whole habit of seeking feedback right from when you begin, right? There'll be random things right now. It's absolutely fine. You practice a few. You do a, about 10 a day, and that's that will going to take you only 30 minutes extra uh, other than this, these, these sessions. Uh, when you do that for at least four or five days, then I'll share my number. You can actually WhatsApp me, and I'm going to give feedback to all of you individually on how you want to improve, right? But as of now, uh, you you do not have to worry about it. Yeah. Okay. So so this is how the things happen. I want you to draw again. I will look at the timing. Uh, um, Govind, can you put this phone stopwatch? Okay. So pick up another thing. Pick up another thing uh, from your house. Uh, anything that you have in front of you. We'll begin in next thirty seconds. And I'm giving you three minutes to draw that. So let's get into that practice. Let's do it. Don't look at the screen. You just listen to the things that I'm saying and you actually start drawing, right? Okay, so are you ready with an object? Can I have some comments from you? Uh, Omer, whatever you have in your home, like supposing you have a cup, you have a, any object on your dining table uh, or you're in a kitchen, take things which are not shiny objects to begin with, because shiny objects will be slightly difficult. Even if you have a ball, just look at the ball. Bottle, yes. Ketchup, bo ketchup bottle, yes. Uh, correct, so, so your time starts now. Uh, you start drawing it and just listen, keep listening to what I'm saying. You do not have to look at me because nothing is happening here, right? Uh, your time has started. You have exactly three minutes. You do not lift your pencil or charcoal off the paper. You have to keep on the paper. Your eyes, your eyes, your eyes should, should be on the object, right? Uh, Try to see as many details as you can. Put stress on your eyes. You do not have to look at your drawing all the time. Right? That most of the people actually spend 90% on the paper on which you are drawing. And you look at the object once in a while. Put the other way around. Look at the object much more. 90% of your time you look at the object. You look at your drawing only once, once in a while. That's the technique you have to do, right? And uh, keep drawing, keep your hands on the paper, keep moving it, go left, come towards the right, go on top, come to the bottom, check where the light is falling, check where the light is not reaching. You do not have to go uh, look for details as of now. Get the overall piece as, uh, if you're looking at spoon, get the overall spoon on the entire piece of paper that you have, yeah? <clears throat> you continue doing that. How much time you have? You have one and a half minutes more for this particular drawing. Uh, yes, continue. You do not have to type now. Headphones, ice cream bowl, sharpener, everything is perfectly fine, yeah? There's absolutely no issues with that.
so it this is basically a gesture drawing you have to almost see this as as somebody who's posing for you right and uh, look at how the light is falling uh, look at look more draw less like just keep your hands on the paper the hands will start moving <clears throat> okay you have <clears throat> about 40 more seconds to finish this You have 20 more seconds. Your eyes on the object. Only once in a while that you're going to look at your paper. Ten more seconds and you'll be done. Five, four, three, two, one, and you should be done. Okay. Uh, now, change the position of the object. Either you change the position of the object or you change your position, right? Try to draw the same thing from the other side, same object from the other side, or maybe hang it, uh, go a little low, or maybe go a little up, upwards. Your perspective would change. You, the, the way you are looking at the object, that needs to change. The way the light is falling on the object, would change automatically, right? So, uh, Omer, doesn't matter. Do, do not worry if you're not finishing. Huh? Go to the next drawing now, just next to that. In the same paper, there will be empty spaces, right? We do not have to use too much of paper because I don't know whether you're going to get any new notebooks now. If you have, use it. If you have uh, less, then use it conserv conservatively. Uh, Rahman wants to see the ball. Yeah, that's right in my backdrop. Okay. Uh, right. Now, no, the light is not fall going to fall on your object the way it has fallen here. Right? It will be very different. And I'm going to give some demonstrations on how differently lights uh, light can fall. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, are you uh, are you ready with uh, the changed situation now? Yes. Fantastic. So your time starts now. I'm giving you another three minutes. You have to finish this drawing. And three minutes is good enough, by the way. It's not about the skill. It's about how much you are putting stress on your eyes. Drawing is all about seeing. Ah, look at things and then see. Yesterday, we, we actually discussed the difference between what is looking, what is just looking, and what is seeing, right? Hearing and listening. That's the difference, yeah? Yes, so time is on. You have two and a half more minutes. Start from any point of the object, left, right, or top. Keep moving it. Keep moving it. Go to the other side. Come back to where you have started. Keep coming back to where you have started. It's okay. You do not have to lift your pencil off the paper. Right, that those small strokes that people do, it will be very difficult for you to improve in such a short time. So, so try, try. Even if the drawing goes, even if it looks pathetic, do not worry. You're not seeking validation. You are not showing it to anybody. You are not even to yourself. Yeah, keep drawing the way the light is falling. Keep drawing. Try not to focus on the outlines. Yeah, focus on the light and the shadow. Do not worry about proportions. Do not worry about line quality, right? All these things do actually does not matter. Yeah. Can I keep the bottle down position? Of course, yes, Aditya. You can keep bottle wherever you want. Uh, so if you're done, then you still have a, a minute and a half. You can still improve it in the sense that you know. Okay. Uh, let there be lines. <laughs> I love saying this. Let there be as many lines on the uh, paper. After a point, it will not remain as a line. It will become a texture. Like it will become, it will actually become that object. You know, uh, till the time it's, you can actually see the line. Uh, you know, it's not complete. 
so you actually constantly keep drawing lines uh, till the line vanishes yeah so that's the way you do it arundhati has joined good morning just try to be on time because you'll miss out the first few minutes uh, and there's no chance for me to repeat because uh, okay you have one more minute I'm not sure you're done, like, but still you can you can continue drawing it. Uh, and this is the link didn't work. I'm sorry about it, uh, but you somehow manage. Now the same link is going to continue. You do not have the link is not going to change. That's what my IT team has said. It's the same link that you can log into. Okay, you have 20 more seconds. Yes, Raman. I'll show you the ball. That's yeah. Dinesh is asking, can you suggest the angle of strokes? Please do not bother about the angle of the strokes, and in fact, do not uh, you know do strokes from only one angle. Just keep doing it from all over the place. This is not about the strokes at all. It's about seeing. Okay, I think you are done with your second one. The time is up. Fantastic. Now you know this is how you have to do. You have to pick up an object. You have to keep drawing five to six times same object from different angles, from different shapes. Right? Same object will give you so much of drawing. Right? Uh, those who actually go to art colleges, uh, they are given like a cube or a cylinder uh, or a sphere, and they draw that for as long as 100 hours like 100 hours only one object and <laughs> you'll be surprised to know sometimes it's only one angle you're drawing a cube from one angle for 100 hours you know how much is 100 hours that's more than two weeks two weeks you actually every day you are just drawing the same thing right so anyway so 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 that's how your eyes are set once that is set then any other object in front of you will be just a play for you right great now i am going to open okay anshu says without outline difficult to draw it's okay it's okay if your object is not coming out properly but try and i will not try just avoid outline completely look at other things first right even if it goes wrong and then yes some kind of outline because that is also drawing we cannot say absolute but stop seeing things try uh, put an effort to see things uh, without the outline in the sense ki you're not be become independent of the outline that's what i mean to say actually yeah right uh, the whole day no mer when if you spend half an hour one hour every day uh, at home uh, in your balcony Uh, with objects with people around i think that's that's good enough right not the i can't expect you to do the whole day if you're motivated enough you want to do the whole day absolutely fine you learn much more faster than other people yeah super so so that's 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 something that i wanted to show now uh junaid the s1 r is fantastic if you can spend 1 hour every day uh, i think you'll really really benefit yeah i will show you uh if you have a little plants in your house uh small leaves i will take you through um, i'll show you how things are like for example if you have things like this okay so if you see uh the light how the light falls on it right there are portions in the leaves one second let me go close to it and show it to you Go a little down. Yeah. So, if you see, there are portions where the light is falling, right? Where the light, it, it, it's uh, the where the light falls that becomes lighter, and where the light is falling less that becomes darker. But this is also not a completely opaque object. It has a transparency. So even the light is coming below. Wherever you are able to see flat portion, there's a lot of light. So now what you're going to do is 
when you draw all this so then uh, and uh, once more. yeah so basically when you draw this uh, you have uh, uh, to keep moving your pencil you to go back and forth you to look at the texture look at light and shadow yeah i'm going to give you a small demo uh, on how to if you have to draw leaves how to go about it and these are the objects that you have to find in your uh, in your own space yeah yeah so if you have suppose you have leaves uh, that's on the left hand side of line you won't be able to see no you won't be able to see just a minute but you have seen that let me just draw a couple of leaves Okay, so I'm not trying to see in terms of outline. So that's what my thing is like. I'm trying to see. So that's how. Okay, so if there are other leaves next to it, also like something like this. So hold the pencil the way it is comfortable uh, and shoe. See. Uh, don't hold it too close to the bottom. Give some space. Give some space, and then you draw. So you're not just drawing, moving your fingers. No, that's not the correct technique to learn. Move it around. Your hand will move. Your arm will move. Right. Try to make it as big as possible. That's how your learning would happen much more faster. Yeah. You can't see the details. Okay. So. Okay. So. Something like this. That's what I was talking about. Uh, yeah. So dark to light, whatever light to dark, dark to light, both ways fine. You can always use uh, your eraser to lighten up things. Yeah, that's going to be important for you. One second. That's better. You can hold sideways. There's absolutely no problem. This, see, I'm comfortable like this. You will be comfortable in your own ways, right? Your your habit of doing other things would depend on what how comfortable you are. Acha, okay. You do not have charcoal. Don't do not worry. Why I'm I'm showing pencil because of technical limitations. Uh, if I show uh, pencil drawings there, that won't be visible to you. And that's the reason I am using. Just imagine I am drawing it with pencil only. Yeah, I'm just showing it how you do not have to. Your drawing did not look the way it is looking here. I'm just showing you how to see things. Yeah, not how your end product would be. Yeah. Any other questions? Any other thoughts? If you can share, I am going to respond to that. How to draw water? Oh, water is very difficult as of now. Unless it's a sea and you're seeing it from far away, it's just one line and you're done. Yeah. Otherwise, if it's uh, moving uh, water, it has ripples or it has waves, then then it has to be uh, there's a lot of drawing in that. Yeah. Uh, so you have to be trained really properly. Can some of some of you put questions here before we move to the next phase? I'm waiting for your questions. 68 of you are here. Can you please repeat this part? Okay, sure, I'll do that. Can you use pastels rather than charcoal? Why not? Why not? Pastel is even better, in fact. Your hands will not get as dirty as this. 
Pallavi saying, can we send what we do to you for the feedback? Pallavi, uh, wait, uh, here, let me just repeat what I've said. I am purposely not looking at your drawing right now. Yeah. The reason being, you know, we con we are in a habit of seeking validation and feedback in little things that we do, right? To get into drawing mode from third or fourth day onwards, like you started yesterday, today is the second day. Mm, tomorrow, just after tomorrow, right? Tomorrow onwards, or tomorrow after the class onwards, I am going to look at your each one of your drawing and give you individual feedback, right? That is what I promise to do uh, to all of you. But not right now. You don't get. You're not drawing it for anybody. Not neither for me nor for yourself. And forget about anybody else. Shall we start the leaves drawing? Okay, you can. There's no problem. But I'm saying because I'm not looking at it, you can start after the class also. Let's discuss as much uh, things as many things as we can. We just have about twelve more minutes. How much pressure on paper? Absolutely no pressure. Absolutely no pressure. Take, that's what I'm saying. Take a softer pencil if you have. If not, even if the drawing is coming light, it's absolutely fine. Do not use pressure. It's almost like some of you who, uh, most of you who can drive, uh, the way you put your hands on the steering, right? If you put your hands on the steering softly, uh, you can maneuver your vehicle much more effectively. You can, uh, so if you press it very hard, then it becomes difficult, right? Mm, it is. What eraser do you use? Okay, I use uh, Apsara non-dust. I personally feel that's a, okay, they have not paid money to me to say this, but that's the best eraser in the world, yeah? So the, these Stedler erasers and all, I have I've tried, Camlin erasers, I've tried, I've tried many erasers. Then none of them are as good as Apsara non-dust, yeah? It costs just about two, three rupees. Yeah. Mm, charcoal pencils, yes, there's something called charcoal pencils. This is this is a Camlin charcoal pencil. This is a charcoal pencil, if you can see this, right? So you get charcoal pencils, you can do that. Then I will talk offline. Okay. Rashmi, how does one translate perspective on paper? Okay, Rashmi, uh, uh, yesterday uh, we had discussed this. We're not using, uh, like burdening ourselves as of now with words like proportions, perspective, texture, line quality, none of this. Right now we're just training our eyes. Perspective, yes, perspective uh, um, is very important. And I'm going to have at least two to three sessions on perspective. And I'm going to actually, uh, even for the beginners, like you are a trained uh, uh, person, even the beginners who have, who, who are not, uh, they don't know what perspective is all about i can actually make it clear in in a matter of two three sessions and that i can promise okay so perspective yes we are going to look at perspective but not as of now we're not even thinking of those things huh? it is necessary to shade do not see it as a shading this is an object right you're not looking at in terms of outlines okay i have to go a little up i have missed some of the chat so can we go a little up okay Okay, how much pressure of paper have answered? We already drew something fantastic. Should we sit in open in drawing? Not right now. After the class, you Arpit, you can sit outside. Outside means in your balcony. Don't go out, stay at home. Are charcoal pencils good? Of course, yes. Little pressure. Uh, okay, light is difficult in closed room. Uh, you can use your lamp or whatever. Of course, you can uh, look at your balcony. Uh, I've answered Rashmi's query. Draw cars. Yes, right now you'll have perspective from top only, right? If you're in the flat. Car will be too difficult, too big an object to begin with. Draw small things, small part of a car. Yeah, that will be help you right now. Uh, Okay, next what? How many kinds of shade makes it look three dimensional? You know, that judgment is yours. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm limiting your time. Put your time limit to three minutes, whatever you achieve within that, yeah? You will be able to see that three minutes will translate into something much more. Suddenly the three minutes will be too much for you, yeah? 
So I want you to draw as many and make as many lines as for this. At no point of time you'll have like kind of you'll say array line jada okay, but there, there will be no time. Just draw as many lines as you can. Yeah. Let there be lines. Uh yeah, stationary shop. I also wish stationary shops were open. I have very little amount of paper left, but I'll manage these sessions for you. I have some sketchbooks with me, and I wish I could distribute that, but there's no way I can do. Um, in some push, some places, I think Amazon works, and if, if you get those uh, online delivery of anything, try and and grab some kind of sketchbook. And in Delhi, I think there are a few places like in Vasant Kun, somebody is saying if even uh, a medical shop has stationaries and maybe the stationary shop has medicine, so therefore it was open. That's important. That's interesting. Uh, Tanmay says, Praveen, is it important to focus on drawing straight lines and horizontal lines or circuitry controls? That's a practice. Okay, so you, you want to play a game, then there are exercises that you have to do to keep your body fit, right? So those vertical lines and horizontal lines, if you can draw, that's that's fitness exercise. Like it's parallel to what fitness exercises for sports. Yeah, it's very important. Of course, yes. Uh, we're drawing, we're not drawing right now. Okay. Uh, I love bookstores and stationery shops. Everybody loves. What do we practice after class? Okay, fantastic. What we practice after the class, uh, we are going to pick up objects from home. If we, you have pet uh, in your house, when the pet is sleeping or posing for you, try and draw. Uh, when you're drawing your pet, you need not have time limit because they'll anyway move. So that whenever uh, the next movement happens is your time limit. Yeah. If they're sleeping, you can actually put a timer on or maybe like, you know, you draw in details then. Yeah. It's an opportunity for you. Just change your positions and keep drawing. Uh, if you uh, do not have pet, you, uh, you must be having other family members at home. If they can pose for you and you put light from one side uh, and see like uh, just, you do not have to actually draw much. The drawing actually happens in your eyes. You can actually learn a lot of drawing just by looking at things, right? I want your eyes to be trained like that. And you are constantly looking at the object and a lot of drawing happens. and you are act you're not looking at your sketchbook or paper much only 10% of the total time you are going to look at supposing you have 3 minutes right if you have 3 minutes that's 180 seconds right so if you have 180 seconds it's only probably 18 seconds is what you're looking at your i'm just kind of putting some numbers to my thoughts uh, 18 seconds that you're looking at your paper the remaining time you are looking at the object here yeah? uh will the hand become firmer it's very shaky it will become it becomes anything that you learn you know initial days there will be little hurdles imagine first time you try to uh, ride a bicycle right <laughs> and what happens after was you are you're actually riding it properly same thing happens in drawing it also happens it might not happen as fast but in the next few days supposing you attend for the next uh 10 days with your a week whatever i think it i'll take you to a certain level where you start enjoying and you do not actually need a guidance then you all need is practice hmm? mm. shading shows the way the light is coming fantastic uh Triti, i did not get it properly well what did you not get it properly if you can ask me i'll 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 talk to you on that separately, not in this group, because I do not want to repeat. Okay, uh, Sanila says, should we focus on outline or shading part? Okay. Look at the object, look at your subject. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of things in that. Yeah? There are a lot of drawing in that. The, the curved lines, then the vertical, not lines, but the, there's a texture there. And the pencil is, okay, let me repeat. Uh, imagine your pencil as a machine where endless wire is coming out so you're constantly sculpting right you're constantly sculpting if you're looking at eyes so you're constantly doing eyebrows here right and then eyebrows there whatever and and you're constantly moving your pencil and there's a lot of connection with each and every you are going on top going at the bottom 
going left, going right, you're constantly moving, right? Uh, this is how it happens. Um, should we only concentrate on the light? Concentrate on the light, yes. Light will, when you concentrate on the light, shadows would come. No shadows without light. Okay, so so I think we're coming towards the end of the session. We have three more minutes. Let me give you some, uh, what I was talking about, if I can give you some demonstration with pencil now, very quickly, two minute demonstration and we'll end the class after that. So I'm separating my screen right now and requesting Govin to pull the screen away. Okay. Okay, Govin, so you can take this, give some demonstration. Okay, so, so is it fine? Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, you can come even close. Yeah. yeah. So, so supposing you have these leaves coming in. So you're actually looking at a lot of detailing how things happen, right? So you keep moving your pencil after a point, all these lines that you have drawn would vanish like So this is like a leaf. I hope you can see all this. Okay, so so there's no one direction that the my strokes are going. My, it's all over the place. I, I have not lifted my pencil. You do not lift your pencil also, right? You keep doing this. There are objects here. Okay, so then there will be There'll be other kind of leaf coming from the other side. Okay, here also, like if you see here, you can actually draw a lot of detailing on. There's a lot of drawing inside, a lot of drawing. You see here, there's a lot of drawing here. Sorry. Yep. When you're drawing without the outline, what happens? You're actually looking at things like this. You are not drawing anything from outlines. Look at how things happen. So I'm looking at things in terms of its volume, right? So there's no outline as such in anything that I'm doing. And do not be worried about extra lines. All these extra lines are only going to add, yeah? Look at this. Yeah. 